we can create new calculated measures that are based on data warehouse measures. So let's add profit percentage. And uh, in order to write expression, we would definitely recommend to use templates and we do provide templates. So what is a template? It's an MDX statement where the profit would be like the measure made sales. Uh, if this is empty or if uh, it is zero, then set to null or divide profit with need sales. Uh, in our case, um, we have the measure line amount and uh, sales profit. So actually we are going to copy this here and paste it like here. And we can do percentage, put it to sales order and apply. Now, before we hit deploy and process, definitely we would suggest to try this first in Excel. And then why, why? Why in Excel? Actually, in Excel, we can make calculated measure. And let's just write here sales profit percentage Excel. Right? And write the same formula and hit OK. If Every, everything is okay, then we will see the percentages. If something is not okay, then we will see an error because sometimes with these brackets or empty spaces, you can easily do uh, an error. And the MDX in Excel is absolutely the same as the MDX that we put into the queue because it's the same. Okay, uh, we have here this measure and let's hit. Yeah, this is good. So in order to work, uh, we would definitely put this as a percentage. Now we are sure that the formula is fine, uh, so we can uh, deploy this measure here. Um, before we uh, deploy, we can do also a distinct count. And this is extremely easy, super powerful way of adding counts. So let's say, document sales document count uh, so what do we do uh, the associated measure group is the only one here it's sales order and what do we want to count we can count a sales document number this is what we're going to do we could count also any other dimension how many customers we have here in transactions, how many salespersons and so on, but usually we do something with document. This is super easy, very powerful. Otherwise, this, this thing count, it's quite a problem to do a simple, straightforward way. You have to do as a specific, as a new measure group. So now we are fine. And when we do the changes, when we do the changes in calculated measures or distinct count measure group, then all we need to do is to deploy and process only analysis part. We don't have to go through the data warehouse. Let's refresh our connection to see what we have. We still have the sales profit that we have calculated in uh, Excel. And uh, let's see what we will have from our analysis services. Uh, this is our Excel. And uh, where is our profit percentage? Okay, here it is. Let's add it. Voila. Nice. And here on top is also sales document count. Okay. So this is the steam count, these many documents we have in our cube. Now for those of you who are more technical, this is a technical background, is uh, I'm opening uh, Visual Studio, uh, sales orders are cube. And actually you see this is one measure group with all the measures that we know. And this sales document count, it's its own measure group and this group has a source 
in a table sales order sales document number id and this has been all done through a very simple step of hitting one uh, new measure with uh, very little parameters that have to be added very powerful and very simple is this